Welcome to the 2024 World Crokinole Championship doubles. We are in the final 12. Players are competing for the top two spots in their respective pools. In this match, we have the Tracy brothers, Reed and Nolan, versus the con men, John Conrad and Connor Ryman. Last time these teams played each other was at the 2023 Ontario Doubles Crokinole Championship, where the con men took the victory. We will see how the teams match up today as Nolan is first to shoot and first to miss. Conrad just bounces out on that angle in. And Reed, right off the bat, looks like he hit that posted shot and gets the first 20 of this match. Nolan now a little too aggressive on that touch 20, giving a nod of acknowledgement to his partner. John Conrad showing why he is one of the Crokinole greats. Wonderful angle in. Reed drains the open 20s. And we are back to these. A little race. We will see who messes up first. Almost around the circle. Conrad the first to miss. Reed now unable to convert on that heavy hanger. Reinman, an unfortunate catch of the peg. Nolan missing the open 20 opportunity. Giving thumbs up, though. He's good. <laughs> Never mind. He is not good. He's staring at the camera. Okay, we're back now, and nope. <laughs> Never mind. Nolan is clearly upset about that open 20, but all is well. They are up in the 20s cup. Con men are not quite up on the board yet, so they are still in good standing despite Nolan's clear thoughts with his previous shot. Reinman going for the 20, unable to convert, sticks on the right side of the hole. Nolan rolls away from the 20. Conrad now with a very nice double, almost got the 20 off the pegs, but now an opportunity for Reed. Debating the best angle to take this from. And gets it. A little bit funky there, but Ryman follows suit with an open 20. Trying to not let that 20s gap get any bigger. Nolan pointing out that Reed perhaps should not play in the middle. Right now, he should simply stay on the outside, which is what he does. The Tracys will take this first round, bring the score of this game to 2-0. to zero. Very nice angle in from Reed and Conrad. We also see this beautiful double from John Conrad, almost getting the 20 there. Nice follow-up backboard as well. Lots of highlight shots. Conrad to open the second round. Coming up short. And Reed, I was about to say that's a very heavy hanger, but follows through. Wasn't even hanging that way. Players now in on their open 20s. Almost around the circle. Reed making it four in a row. The last time these players played, they went to war at the Ontario doubles. I believe the score was 10-8 for the con men. So very competitive play in this match. Reed rolling away. The Tracys do have the hammer advantage in this round. So they are content to keep play on the outside. Nolan left with a somewhat difficult shot through the pegs of little challenge to him. Conrad looks like he was trying to push in a little bit there. Players discussing the best strategy. The last few shots, the Tracy's have been trying to keep play away from the middle, and that should probably do it. Ryman may have an opportunity to catch a peg and almost gets a 20, not quite. Nolan can either get in or get away. We will see what he does. Drains a 20. Very nice shot. Now up a 20 with hammer advantage. They're in a very good spot. Reed 
looks to increase the 20 count. Up two 20s now, Reinman trying to not let the Tracys get too far ahead. <laughs> Nolan goes long, but not unhappy with that. In between the pegs, players having a laugh. I presume over that happy little accident. Reed offs a hit and stick. Not many options. Ryman had to go for it. Doesn't much matter that he drained that 20 for the Tracys. They would have taken the second round. Anyways, bringing the score to 4 2 0. See a few highlight shots from the Tracy brothers. Very nice angle in from Nolan to end the round. And Reed starts the third round of this game. Open 20, Reinman comes up short. Nolan doesn't look too happy with that shot, but at least far enough away from the 20 that Conrad can't convert. Conrad rolls out, and Reed is happy to keep play on the outside. Reinman able to hit, and he'll be hoping for Conrad to bring play back to the middle. The con men do have hammer in this match, but the Tracys currently up a 20. More content to play in the mud, as they would put it. Nolan now somewhat difficult shot through the pegs. Able to hit and roll down into the five. Not much for Conrad to work with here. Unable to roll up very much. Reed asking about the situation. Players now fully aware where they stand. Reed giving Reinman. Whoa. Almost able to pull it fully into the 15. Catches a peg. Lands in between. Nolan not quite able to get out. Might be an opportunity here for Conrad. Certainly not a gimme by any means. <laughs> Unable to push through. See if Reed continues to play on the outside. Yes, catches that peg just a little bit to keep play out. Ryman catches the pegs to stay in between, but not fully in the 15 still. Nolan gets the head nod from Reed. That is still in. What was almost a very big blunder turned into a fantastic shot. Reed happy to park it away from Reinman yet again. Ryman debating if he'd come from the outside and squeak through. Very tough shot. I would think maybe through Hogan's catch a peg to come back, but I don't know. We'll see what he does. He catches a peg, not the way he wanted to. Rolling way down in the five. Nolan with that final hit and stick leaves Conrad with very little options, and the Tracys will take this third round now, going up 6 nothing on the con men. <laughs> we see that roll. You can see it is just barely in just millimeters away from the outer boundary. We are going into this final round now. Ryman with an unfortunate blast through the 15 all the way to the other side. Invalid shot. Conrad looks like he was pushing for that 20, but now the door is open for Reed. Tracy's do have hammer, but I don't think that's what Reed was looking to do. Ryman debating the best way to deal with this, presumably without hitting off his own disc. Looks like he's discussing a shot off the pegs for a 20. Oh, wow. Very nice shot. Off his own, to the red, into a peg, back into his own for the 20. Beautiful shot. And he called it. I think he called it. He didn't point at the camera. So, who's to say? I'm going to say he called it. Great shot from Reinman. Nolan loses his own disc there.
Reed now pushing a little bit more into the 15. Maybe an angle opportunity for Ryman. I'm curious to see whether they'll go on offense or defense at this point. The con men are up a 20. Oh, getting that shot nicely posted. Does not look like Nolan will be able to get the off there. Oh, nice. Follow suit with Ryman's previous posted 20. Not quite as cool, but still a very difficult shot and very nice. Reed almost catches a peg back for 20, but instead opens the door for Ryman just a little bit strong. Lips out. Nolan drains on the opportunity. Players now tied in the 20s cup. Reed drains his own. Tracy's with the hammer advantage. Up a 20. Tied in the 20s now, but still in a very great spot. Players now going around. A 20s shoot off. Reed blows it through the house. Invalid shot. Opens the door for Reinman. Comes down to this. Nolan gets to 20. These last two shots will determine. Reed is fighting for a tie on this final shot, which would bring the score to 7-1. to one. If Reed misses, they will lose this final round. It all comes down to this shot to decide how this final round will go. Just off. Lipping out to the far side, this final round will go to the con men, bringing the score to 6-2. Fantastic work from both of these players in game four of the initial round robin. Stay tuned to see how the rest of the matches go and to see who will move into the final four for the 2024 World Crokinole Doubles Championship. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, make it a great day.